Oh yeah. We got some we got some buns in the oven here, everybody. See? Some some delicious hot cross buns in the oven. Wait for it, wait for it. They're coming around. Just wait for it, wait for it, and your moment of buns and ah. Uh, of course, this is the batch that had to go in. This is a very time-sensitive thing. We're here at the New Cobbs in the uh, distillery district just over on, uh, is it the brewery district? The brewery, the brewery district. Distillery means we're making it. Um, brewery, we're drinking it. Uh, we're also eating it. Uh, Cobbs, of course, the latest, greatest edition. Yeah. This is Alan. You are the baker here at 1 a.m. every yeah. day. Your passion is buns, bread, baking, and uh, this is a very time-sensitive process that we're in right now. Yes, it is a time sense process of it. Um, so this is the one that I'm um, trying up earlier, and I put them in the proofer, and then um, it was in the proofer for 20 minutes. So right now, we're going to line them, or we're going to cross them. This is where the, the hot cross buns get crossed. Yeah. This is the time we're going to cross the hot cross buns. Whoa. So we're going to be using the white mix with the cinnamon ground in it. So let's okay, start. I'll, I'll get you get, let okay, you get. So um, uh, you will just kind of cross them however you want to hold the piping bags as long as you're as long as you're comfortable with it. Right, okay, and it's okay. way harder than it looks, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, while you're doing this, though, um, when these said buns were in the proofer, uh, this is how they got so, uh, they look like they've actually been filled with air, but they've actually just expanded. They're rising. Yes, they're rising. So that's why, they, why we put it in the proofer, because of that's a sense of making them rise to, like, to make it more bigger when we bake them. Uh. So, yeah. Okay, and as he's doing that, of course, the other beautiful thing I have to point out that all cobs do, which I love, is that you're also part of every night at 7 p.m. when said baking goes unattended, when there's a few baguettes and bread sticks and everything left, uh, you actually donate. Yeah, we donate, all cobs in, 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 in the world actually donate to charities each night at whenever they close. Um, the charities show up with their bins and our staff helps them fill it up and we do places like uh, Hope Mission, Operation Friendship Senior Society, we have some churches, some food banks. That is it, so awesome. I love that. That is uh, a terrific initiative and such a community driven initiative. I also know that you uh, are really proud of sort of the ingredients of it being specifically Alberta. The flowers. Yes, our flour comes out of Lethbridge, so it's, it's homegrown. Um, all of our ingredients are 100% top-notch. Um, our suppliers are awesome, and um, that's why we get the delicious flavor. Now it's your turn. My time yeah. has come. So Alan is like, all right, piping bag you. is being passed. Yeah, I'll let hold you hold this. Uh, okay. You. Okay, thank you very much. Just a nice, see, it's way harder than it looks. See, this is, oh, 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 they, <laughs> okay. Oh, this one is, oh, this is just, this is like really pushing it out here. Okay, here we go. Oh. That's perfect. Ah, uh, thank you. We're going to go to break, but when we come back, uh, of course, Courtney and Jason are in the studio, so stick with us. More DT coming your way. Oh, phew. I'm going to cross these buns. I'm crossing them. We'll be back after this. <laughs> 